So you're thinking about making a move to Renton, Washington, but before you do, you wanna find out everything you can about the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be discussing in this video. I'm gonna pull back the curtain and show you everything that you need to know about living in Renton. There's a lot of good that comes with living in Renton, but you know what? There's definitely some bad, and we wanna make sure that some of those bad things aren't deal breakers for you. Now, I lived in Renton for 11 years, so I know a thing or two about the good and bad of Renton, and that's what I wanna share with you today. But if you stick around until a little bit later in the video, we're also gonna hear from some other Renton residents, and they're gonna give their unbiased opinion about what it's like to live in Renton, and give a lot of really good tidbits on stuff that you need to know coming from Renton residents. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you wanna learn more about the good and the bad of Renton, then let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything about living, working, eating, playing in the city of Seattle, Washington and surrounding communities like Renton, then subscribe down below, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Seattle. My name is David Sappenfield. The team and I, we get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking for help to make their move here to Seattle and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week or next year, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or our favorite schedule a zoom call all of our contact information is in the description down below we're happy to help you make that smooth move to Seattle so as I was saying we are going to be talking about the pros and the cons the good and the bad about living in Renton Washington okay so just to start you off Renton you know we're probably about 20 minutes outside of Seattle. We're just to the southeast of Seattle, so pretty easy to commute to get in and out of, of the city. Uh, we are also very close to Bellevue, so you're probably around eight miles, which can be anywhere from like a 15 to 20 minute drive to an hour and a half drive. And we'll kind of get into that a little bit later, but just to kind of let you know where Renton sits geographically, on the map of Puget Sound. We're kind of in that lower southeast corner of the Puget Sound. Now, I wanna start you off with a little bit of like some statistics of Renton. Now, Renton is a large city. It's actually the ninth largest city in the state of Washington. And the population is around 105,000. And it's a growing city. It definitely is expanding, which, you know, it, that's great for the economy there um, maybe not so good for traffic but uh, but yeah it, it's a pretty big city uh, the median household income for the residents of Renton is right around a hundred thousand dollars that's combined household income uh, the median sale price for homes so you're gonna see a lot of single-family homes right around that $725,000 range. And for condos, you're gonna be looking around 371,000 for the median sale price for a, for a condo. And then just to kind of give you an idea of uh, ownership rates in Renton, you know, about 53% of residents own their home versus 47% that rent in Renton. So pretty even split there, uh, really close to right down the middle. But uh, Renton's fabulous. I, I do like Renton, uh, but let's get into those pros and cons, you know, because I know that's really what you came to hear about. But I want to start off with the pros we're going to give you four pros and then we're going to move into the cons and i have four cons that i want you to hear about uh, and then after that, I want to bring in some residents, uh, what their opinion of Renton is, and then we'll kind of discuss that and wrap up the video then. But let's jump into those pros and uh, get started with those. Pro number one is Renton's location. Now, Renton is conveniently located really close to downtown Seattle, so probably about 15 to 20 minutes away. You're super close to downtown Bellevue, Bellevue Square. You're close to Redmond, 
uh, Microsoft area, you know, you're 15 to 20 to 25 minutes from that Bellevue Redmond area. And, you know, yes, traffic is an issue sometimes, but if we're talking about commute times without traffic, you can get into downtown Seattle super easy. You can get up to Bellevue, up to Redmond, really, really easy. It's just, you know, a straight shot both ways but we do deal with traffic, but you know, I'm talking about the good here. So if you are not having to commute during those traffic times, then Renton is an awesome location. And you know, you're really close to the airport too. So you're less than 10 minutes away from SeaTac International Airport. You know, even with traffic, you're probably looking 20 to 25 minutes to the airport. So super convenient for the airport, super convenient for Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond, you know, traffic does play a role, but you know, I'm talking about the good here. So we are going to focus on that. And as long as you're not dealing with the traffic, then Renton is in a super awesome location. Pro number two are the employment opportunities that you have living in Renton. Now, Renton has a large Boeing manufacturing plant right at the south end of Lake Washington, just north of downtown Renton. That's where Boeing builds their 737. So if you're in the aerospace industry, there are a ton of employment opportunities right in your own backyard here in Renton. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, Packar, a Fortune 500 company. They are a major factor in this area as well. They have their Kenworth trucking plant in Renton, not too far from Boeing actually, just east of it a little bit, but lots of employment opportunities in that industry as well. You know, truck manufacturing, painting, everything, you know, the distribution of those trucks. So uh, lots of employment opportunity in the trucking industry. And then you also have Providence Healthcare Systems. They're a very large employer in the Renton area. And then you have Valley Medical Center just in the South Renton, that's the major hospital. So if you're in the healthcare industry, you're also going to have a ton of opportunities for employment in Renton. And that is why that is our pro number two. Pro number three is the lower cost of living of Renton. Now, specifically, I'm talking about housing because you know what, let's be honest, the cost of living for groceries, gas, taxes, everything, you know, it's pretty much high everywhere across the Puget Sound region, especially in King County. But with housing in Renton, you definitely have a lower median home value, more affordable housing in the Renton city limits. You're looking 725, right around that range for a single family detached home, you know, 371 for a condo. Now, if you compare that to some of our neighbors to the north, you got Bellevue, Redmond, which are well above the million dollar range, that makes Renton much more affordable and attractive, and you're not that far away from those cities. Yes, traffic is that recurring issue that we are talking about, but you're super close and you get more house for your dollar by buying in Renton. So that is why Renton, the cost of living is our pro number three. Pro number four, Renton's access to amenities. Now, just within the city limits of Renton, you have a whole lot of options when it comes to dining, shopping, gyms, and the Renton Landing, just at the south end of Lake Washington, there's a newer development down there, probably 10, 12 years old, but a whole lot of restaurants, a lot of shopping, you have targets, you have some clothing stores, uh, you have a gym, you have an LA Fitness down there, but you know, just Everything you would pretty much need is right there in the Renton Landing. Uh, you also have some shopping opportunities in downtown Renton, uh, but you're also really close to, let's say you need a mall, you know, Bellevue Square, super close. You're eight or nine miles away from Bellevue Square. You're also really close to Westfield Center, which is the mall in Tukwila. So that's even closer than Bellevue Square, actually. You could probably get there in eight or nine minutes. So super close there. Uh, shopping downtown Seattle, you have everything that you would need right there. So within 15, 20 minutes, you can pretty much have 
anything that you need, shopping, restaurant, gym, you know, whatever you're looking for is going to be conveniently located in Renton. And that is why that is our pro number four. All right, time to switch it up a little bit and start talking about the cons or the negatives of living in Renton. Now, I just had a bonus con occur to me as I'm making this video right now, and you might be able to tell my voice is a little bit scratchy right now, and that's just the allergy season in the whole Puget Sound area is awful this time of year. You know, anytime in the spring or fall, if you have seasonal allergies, Man, make sure you have some good medication to handle that because it is kicking right now and uh, makes it kind of hard to talk and do this stuff. But, uh, you know, a bonus con for you, but that's not part of our, our four on the list. But let's move in to con number one. And we've talked about it a little bit in this video. That is the traffic in the Renton area. Now, traffic is really tough, specifically on Interstate 405, okay? So there's a couple problematic areas that we, I wanna tell you about. Uh, the first one is kind of down south and it's called the Renton S-curves, okay? And Renton S-curves are where 405, you know, kind of runs north and south, where it starts to head east and west. That's called the Renton S-curves always backed up for traffic. And I think it's just because of like limited visibility ahead of you when you're driving. So rent and S curves are always backed up. So if you're commuting in and out of Seattle, you're gonna deal with the rent and S curves. Now, if you are commuting to and from Bellevue, Redmond, that area, that is a, just, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's a nightmare, okay? Uh, 405, it merges down or bottlenecks down to three lanes. So there's, you know, north of Bellevue, it's a full four lane highway. And then when it hits Bellevue, it bottlenecks down into three lanes, which you can imagine what that does to traffic. It just is a standstill and it's, you know, you never know when it's going to be bad. And you know, it's going to be bad during rush hour traffic, morning and evenings, but you never know because on Saturdays, Sundays, it could also be bad. And it's just because of the, the, the bottlenecking down to three lanes. And that runs from South Bellevue all the way through Renton. So it, it starts to kind of ease a little bit as you get through like the Newcastle, Coal Creek area. Uh, but once you hit that, that, that shift down to three lanes, it is just a standstill and it makes it really tough to commute. Now, like I said, I lived in Renton, um, worked in downtown Bellevue. I lived up in the, the Kennedale area, upper Kennedale. And to go seven miles to downtown Bellevue, if it was bad, if traffic was bad, it would take 60 to 90 minutes just to get to downtown Bellevue, which, you know, that is pretty, pretty annoying if you're having to do that on a regular basis. So. Con number one is the traffic in the Renton area. Con number two is a little bit of a higher crime rate in Renton. And, you know, I'm not talking about all areas of Renton. There are definitely some really good areas of Renton that don't really experience the, the higher crime rates that other areas do. But, you know, there are particular sections of Renton, like kind of the downtown corridor off of Rainier Avenue that do see a higher crime rate. And you know, most of the crime is like property crime, right? Breaking into cars, houses, stuff like that. But you know, it's definitely something that you need to be aware of because in that downtown section, it's just a higher crime rate and you gotta be careful. You know, there's no really good way to put it. You know, I'm not saying to avoid those areas, but you know, just be careful, lock your car, make sure you're aware of your surroundings. So, you know, just that, that main downtown area is specifically what I'm talking about. But you know, a lot of the other areas of Renton are really great. And you know, the, the crime rates in those other areas aren't really gonna vary too much from the other surrounding areas, but um, just you know, be careful. And the, the little bit of a higher crime rate is our con number two. Con number three is 
the school district in Renton, which is the Renton School District. And, you know, there's no really easy way to put this or say this, but, you know, just the the schools in Renton get lower ratings and rankings, which, you know, it might not be fair to compare them to the neighboring school districts like Bellevue School District, Lake Washington School District, North Shore School District. But you know what? We are comparing them. So uh, they're, they're just not as highly rated as those neighboring school districts. You know, there's a lot of elementary and middle schools in the Renton School District that get pretty good ratings. You know, they're in that seven, eight, nine range. But when we're talking about high schools in the Renton School District, the four high schools are, you know, one of them is awesome, but that's because it is in, you know, Liberty High School is in the Issaquah School District. But, you know, the other three, they rate between two and five on the greatschools.org, uh, you know, rankings list for that school district and that school, which, you know, is, is not really uh, competitive when we're talking about comparing those to Bellevue schools, Lake Washington schools, North Shore schools. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And like I said, it might be an unfair comparison because we are comparing those to Bellevue, which is like nationally accredited awesome school district uh, but you know facts are facts and Renton could use some work on their school system and that is why it is con number three con number four and this one I had a tough time with now like I said I used to live in Renton and coming up with my pros and cons list I had no problem blowing through four pros and I got three cons that were really easy right off the bat but this fourth con I was having the trouble with so I talked with my wife you know we both lived in Renton for a long time and to me this doesn't matter at all I, I don't care but to her she mentioned, and it was a good point, but she brought up the fact that there are no like high-end grocery stores in Renton. Now, what I mean by high-end grocery stores are like the Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, PCC. There's just none of those stores in the city of Renton. You know, the, the nearest locations for those are going to be like Bellevue, Seattle. You know, you have to travel a decent ways to get to those stores. And, you know, like I said, to me, that doesn't matter. But, you know, if you're really, you know, um, or love to buy organic foods, maybe gluten-free foods, you know, your, your only options for the Renton area are going to be stores like Safeway, Albertsons, QFCs, which are great options, but you know, they probably just don't have the selection of the organic gluten-free stuff if that's what you're looking for. And again, like I said, this was kind of a tougher one for me to even call it a con, but if you like to shop at stores like that, that is a con because Renton does not have any of those. Okay, so you've heard from me, you've heard my opinion on the pros and cons of living in Renton, but what do you say we check in with some other Renton residents and see what they have to say? Um, I did a quick search uh, on Reddit and saw a Reddit thread which uh, someone was asking about Renton. You know, let's just actually jump in and I will pull it up and show you exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, so, uh, someone asked the question, how is living in Renton? And it says, we are looking to buy a house and notice that Renton has attractive properties at not so high prices. What are some of the areas we should look into or avoid? How is crime in Renton? Does Renton also have problems with homeless? Uh, lots of responses here. I, I won't get into all of them, but, you know, we'll just kind of highlight some of the stuff that we, uh, you know, some of the stuff that I noticed that kind of jumped out to me. Um, this first response says, you know, Renton Highlands is great. Kennedale, you know, kind of what I've told you in the past, you know, those are great neighborhoods. Um, avoid kind of the downtown Renton area if uh, crime is, uh, you know, a major concern of yours or like homelessness. Uh, that downtown section, you know, right off of Rainier Avenue there is um, kind of known for that. So um, that's what that first response is saying. Uh, the second response, uh, it's a little bit long and lengthy. Um, it says, my family and I have enjoyed, enjoyed living in Lower Kennedale, very quiet and sleepy pocket. Uh, that's right. You know, that's a, a great part of town to live in. You don't see any homeless, anything like that around there. 
this this reply is talking about the public transit options which you know the the downtown the kind of core area of renton you have really good public transit options but as you branch out into those neighborhoods you know the highlands kennedale fairwood benson hill you know yes your connections are going to be limited so you know I, that goes with every city though the closer to the core you get the more public transportation options you're going to have so no different in renton um the only thing you have to watch out for is the downtown Renton area. That's what another person said. So, you know, you'll kind of see a common theme on that. It's not just me saying that. You know, Rainier Avenue is sketchy. Yes. Uh, avoid downtown. Another one saying that. This person saying that, uh, you know, the, the car was stolen three times in three years. Uh, you know, so, you know, people are experiencing those property crime issues in that downtown area. Another person here has said that they have had no issue with the property crime in the downtown area and they've, uh, you know, had, had no issues. Not sure how long they've lived there, but, um, but yeah, this person actually agreed nine years they've been there and haven't had any issue with it. So, you know, I guess it just kind of depends on how lucky you are, I guess. But um, but yeah, that's that's that. But uh, we'll kind of scroll down and catch a couple more here. Lived here three years, had mixed experiences. Literally today I saw a homeless couple fighting outside my window. Uh, so that's not good, but, um, you know, and these were, these were all, uh, replies and a question that was answered just a week ago. So this is a very recent input from Renton residents. So really kind of a good window into kind of what is going on in Renton, I think. And, and Fairwood is our immediate neighborhood is great. There are some issues in a few directions, but that's typical. Yes, it is. Homelessness and cleanliness in the downtown area. This person takes issue with car prowling. But yeah, you know, this one, again, I live in the Highlands. It's really great. Crime is pretty low. Um, it's like they've had a little bit of a homelessness issue in that area behind their house. But, uh, you know, it just depends on where you live in Renton. So that'll kind of give you some good insight on Renton residents, what their actual, you know, unbiased opinion is of that area. So hope you find that helpful. All right. So there you have it. Our list of four pros and four cons with that bonus con of the seasonal allergies. I'm not kidding you. It's no joke. If you have seasonal allergies, be careful because they are tough here in the fall and the springtime. So watch out for those. But, uh, you know, covered a lot today you know was there anything on that list that i missed you know if so i'd love to hear from you down in the comments just drop them down below i'd love to kind of hear different opinions and different people's ideas of what they think is a pro or a con of the renton area and you know if you're thinking about making a move to seattle or one of the surrounding suburbs like renton and you want to be confident that you're making the right choice on the location you want to move to make sure you reach out to us let's have a conversation let's make sure that your first choice is the best choice for your situation and make sure you don't make it end up making a move that you're gonna regret so whether you're moving next week next year give us a call shoot us a text send us an email schedule a zoom call all of our contact information is in the description down below we're happy to help you make that smooth move to seattle and until next time we hope to show you around town take care bye